We are back at 638. A former minor league baseball player is making headlines in Currituck County, but it's not for the reason you might think. Now, the ball player turned PE teacher is getting high praise from his colleagues for how he adapted his classes during the pandemic. And as 10 of your sides, Brian Parsons reports, the modifications today's excellent educator made are sticking with him well beyond the days of virtual learning. In Currituck County, like everywhere else, teaching during the pandemic has made things challenging, especially if you're a physical education teacher. But in the case of Jarvisburg Elementary's Corey Martin, he got creative. We first went virtual back in March of 2020, and uh, there wasn't a blueprint for how to do it. Hey guys, I rode my scooter all the way from home to come here and do another video with you. How about a YouTube channel to help keep his students active? Instead of just sending home paper, pencil, workout packets, which I feel like is pretty common, uh, I went to YouTube and started a YouTube channel in March of 2020 where I just did little virtual lessons with, with paper balls, with anything I could think of that the kids would have at home that they could use. Shoe boxes for soccer goals. I mean, you name it. While students are back in school four days a week in Currituck County, Martin's YouTube channel is still going strong. My kids to this day, if, if I don't make a weekly YouTube video, they let me hear it, even though we're back in person in school. And his channel is getting a lot of eyeballs. I get up to 50,000, sometimes 60,000 views a day. Before coming to Currituck County, Martin played college baseball at Western Carolina and was drafted by the Chicago Cubs. He played three seasons of minor league baseball and made it all the way up to AAA. Mike Trout was the last better I, I faced in, in spring training. 2011, last day before teams broke, and uh, he hit, hit one out on me. Coincidentally, the next day I got my plane ticket home, and I've uh, been teaching ever since. And there's no place he'd rather be than at Jarvisburg Elementary in Currituck County. I love the area, so here I am, still here 10 years later. One of my biggest goals as a PE teacher, I tell the kids this every year, if I can teach you how to handle winning, and if I can teach you how to handle losing, I feel like I've done my job. If they can experience failure and experience success, in grade school, then it's going to make it a lot easier for them as they advance through life. Brian Parsons, 10 on your side. What a talented teacher. Now, Currituck County isn't the only area with excellent educators. We've got submissions from Accomack County to Kill Devil Hills and everywhere in between. We'll be profiling teachers from across the area all month long. And you can read about their accomplishments right now on wavy.com.